And we welcome you back to Fairfield, Connecticut for the second of our two semifinal games as number two Central Connecticut State gets set to battle number three Mammoth. This is the semifinal round of the Northeast Conference Men's Soccer Championship in 2011. Rick Luke, the speedy freshman, lets one go. Bending ball and it's in! Luke scoring here in the fifth minute of play has given Mammoth a one nothing lead. Involved. Very consistent season. We'll get a look at the replay right here with three defenders in front of him getting some open space. And watch the bend on that ball coming back and just over uh, the leaping goalkeeper. For Luke, he's got the game's only goal. Nice move. Service in. Going towards the back post. But play it out. Wide. Deabate. Trying to shimmy past Allen. This one up in the air. And it will be deflected up over the top. Blue Devil attack here. No break. Pushes to his right for Bailey. He could be within striking distance. Let's one go. And corralled down by Blackburn. And the teams will make their halftime adjustments. It is Mammoth with the one nothing advantage. Head coach Rob McCourt, the Hawks leading one nothing here at the half. Coach, it's always great to get the first goal, but I'm sure it's even better to get it so early on in the fifth minute. Yeah, especially against the wind. You can hear the wind in the background. We had the wind in our face all half, so to get a goal against the wind was a big positive for us. You raved to me earlier in the week about the play of Luke, your freshman, and he's the one that got that goal early on. What can you say about him? He's been outstanding all season. And how about the play of your goalkeeper? You had to make a, a diving save there with eight minutes to go in his first tournament game. What have you seen from him and the defense so far? Yeah, they've come up big. You know, Central's a good team, and they're coming at us in waves. And, you know, we've had uh, the wind in our face, and the guys faced a little bit of adversity with that, and we did well with it. Now you'll get the wind uh, to your advantage here in the second half. Any adjustments to make? No, we'll just continue to play the way we play, and hopefully we can establish a little bit more rhythm and keep the ball. It's tough in this wind. All right, Coach, best in the second half. Thank, Thank you. you. They got the early goal. Uh, how did that, if at all, change uh, your game plan coming in since the goal was so early? Well, it wasn't in our game plan to concede a goal within the first five minutes. It was a tremendous shot. But obviously, we've got to stick. We got to, we stick to our game plan, and our game plan was to come out and attack Monmouth, and I think we've been doing that increasingly more as the games went on. What adjustments do you have to make here in the second half? Well, we've got to get Obasi involved, our wide midfield player, and also Diabate on the left-hand side. They've got to create space for themselves and be able to turn and start running at these full-backs and, and some opportunities in the attacking third. And what was the message, what was the mood to the team during your halftime chat over there? Well, the message was we've got 45 minutes left of our season, and we, got to, we, we, we can't walk off this field with any regrets. We can perform better than we, can, uh, than we did in the first half. We're going to come out with a renewed attitude, and you'll see our kids are coming out with a big fight on their hands the second half. All right, Coach, best of luck in the second half. Thank you. Thank you. Obasi coming near. This ball will be played to the middle part of the goal, and it is in! Perfectly placed. It was Stamankovic on the tally. His first goal of the season has knotted this game at one apiece. Now Walsh coming forward. Back heeled by Wilson. This one put on by Bogle. Towards the back post. Allen, an in-swinger. Hamilton deflected it and flicked on Menzies. Looking forward, trying to work with Cianci, who is now open. We'll let one fly. That will drift way wide. Here, obviously, with four minutes and change to go, but you know, in a competitive conference that's been like that all season, we're seeing more of it here today. Bogle ahead for Wilson. Wilson lets one fly. That will just sail wide. Great chance for Central. Walsh now on the far side. Nogara is there and will clear out for Mammoth, but right into the middle of the field. Here is a strike and a blast that will just go wide. That off of the foot of Manny Nobre. He was left, trying to get a shot off. Perrinan up atop. Vasquez was there, took the goalie down in Ocellini, and there is bumping back and forth, and that is not what you want to see. There was contact. Vasquez went up for it and kind of grabbed. Ocellini, Bossi is there. Luke serves one in, and that will sail wide. And we'll play it deep, and we will play another set of 10 minutes. Schmid cuts to his left, plays one across for Luke. Luke lets the left footed shot go. Slipping one forward for Sotka. Stops on it, turns, service in, looking for Pern into the back post. Ocellini coming out to collect. Seen 110 minutes of soccer. And this one is still up for grabs. Mammoth one, Central one, penalty kicks. Allen with the strike and the goal. Mammoth the one nothing advantage. This is the first kick for the Blue Devils. 
Struck well. Top corner. 1-1. One, one. So it hits, and it's saved. Blackburn with the save. And we stay at 1-1. One, one. And Schmidt also goes in the same spot. All of the Mammoth players have kicked the ball to the left. And able to beat Blackburn. With this one at 2-2. Left-footed shot. And another goal. That one sailing high over the crossbar. And Mammoth a kick away from going back into the NEC final and fittingly they will send up their fifth year senior Anthony Vasquez to try and win it. A made PK here sends Mammoth to the NEC final. And the Hawks will have a chance to defend their championship as Anthony Vasquez able to beat Ocellini and the Hawks win it 4-2 on PKs 2-1 overall and FDU is up next. Alex Blackburn who made some fantastic stops in net throughout this entire first 111 minutes and then 110 minutes and then of course uh, in the kick situation. So your first NEC tournament game as a starter, yes. what was some of the preparation, what was some of the mentality coming in against this central team? Oh, you always got to just stay focused going into games like this. Obviously, you know, I've been on stages like this before, but never never on the college level, you know, obviously with the club and high school and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, it's good to get my first one under the belt, that, that's for sure. And I'm sure it always uh, gives you a little bit of a confidence boost to see your team score five minutes into the game. You got yeah. the early goal, uh, and then they were able to answer late. How did this team, uh, you know, stay so energized going into uh, overtime and in the penalty kicks despite giving up that goal? Well, um, I think after we scored that first goal, it was definitely what we wanted to come out and do, without a doubt. And, uh, you know, you know, CCSU is a, is a hard fighting team. You know, they put balls into the box. You know, they're big guys, you know. And, um, you know, we just, we just had to work hard. And, you know, it's never an easy game, especially in the NEC playoffs. You had a couple of great saves that made our highlight reel here during the broadcast, during the game. And then uh, take us into your mindset as a goaltender going into penalty kicks uh, with, with so much stake, just you and then the player one-on-one. -on -one. What's the mentality in the penalty kick situation? Well, what I, what I always do when I go into the penalty kick situation is just go have a good time. I mean, like, yeah, people might think, like, I, that's not at all how, how I think, but it's exactly how I think, you know. You're not supposed to save any of them. They're supposed to score every single one of them. So if you save at least one, you know, stuff happens, you know, and, like, they had a miss on one of them. So, I, you know, I just try, you know, no pressure on me. It's all on them, you know. And now the team advances to the championship to play uh, FDU. You get a chance to start in a championship game. How excited are you and how ready are you for Sunday? Um, I'm excited, yeah. We just need to stay focused and uh, make sure that we finish, finish the job now. All right, well, we'll see you on Sunday against the Knights. All right, thank you very much. Matt Harmon, let's send it back up to you. All right, Craig, appreciate it. That was, of course, uh, Alex Blackburn, the junior goalkeeper, able to make the one key save to set things up and help Mammoth win it in PKs. The other star in the shootout, Fifth-year senior, Anthony Vasquez. All right, thanks, Matt. We're back here with another one of the Monmouth uh, leaders, Anthony Vasquez, who had the, the, the biggest goal in that penalty kick round, the walk-off winner, uh, so to speak. Tell us, what was uh, going through your mind when you were coming up to try to make that last kick? Well, I mean, all the pressure's on me at that point. And, uh, I mean, Alex did a great job of, of saving a saving goal, and they missed the, the goal before me, so all I had to do was put it away. That's what I did, so... And now you're one of the, the, the leaders on this team, and uh, you know, your team played such a fantastic defensive effort today. What was uh, the, the mindset coming in, and, and did this game play out the way you guys expected? Uh, well, we, al we always know Central Connecticut has a, has, a good, has a good team regardless, and uh, defense is what we pride on. So we, we, we try to go into the mindset of, you know, as long as we don't let up a goal, then we, we'll win. But in this case, we'll take it to the PKs and whatever happens from there, you know. So much drama there late in the game, and I know that it's probably difficult to win one championship, even more difficult to win two, but now your team's going for three in a row. Uh, what's the preparation like uh, coming up for Sunday against FDU? Uh, it's like any other game. You know, it's, you, don't, you don't change what you do. We don't change what we do, so it's, it's mom and soccer, so we'll play the way we, we normally do. Thank All right, you. thanks, Anthony. Congratulations. We'll Thank see you on Sunday. Thank you. Matt, let's send it back upstairs to you. Anthony Vasquez, big part of this one, one of the... Four players for Mammoth able to find the back of the net and help the Hawks in the shootout. Maybe the man who planned this one out. Spending a minute here with Craig D'Amico. 
All right, thanks, Matt. Our cavalcade of stars down here continues as we bring in head coach Rob McCord. And, Coach, you know, 110 minutes of soccer was done. You, you did all the X's and O's. The lineup card was sent in. And as a coach, you know, all you can do is watch right there the penalty kick round. You know, what was, what was going through your stomach? What was going through your head there watching the penalty kicks? I think both teams feel that it's a very difficult way to win or lose a game, so I'm happy, obviously, that we came out on a winning end, but full credit to Central. I thought they were a very good team today, and uh, we just showed a lot of character, I think, all day and just kind of found a way to hang in and get to the end there. And talk about a little bit about the character of your team bouncing back after giving up that goal. You had the lead. They were able to equalize it. It seemed like they had some of the energy there, more the momentum on their side in that second half. How did you guys regroup going into the overtime? Well, I was a little bit worried, to be honest with you, that we had such a strong wind in our face in the first half, and then the wind died in the second half. I thought, wow, maybe uh, this is not meant to be. But, you know, the guys showed a lot of character and rebounding from the goal. And, you know, that's been the, that's been the uh, adjective all season. They have so much character, and we've had so much adversity. Ryan Clark played through an injury today, and, you know, we've just had so many guys beat up all season. But they keep responding and finding ways to win, and I'm really proud of these guys. Now you guys were the three seed. Um, you know, <laughs> was this a, an upset win for the Monmouth Hawks on the road in the NEC tournament? No. No. Okay. Um, now you go into the championship round taking on uh, FDU, a team that you guys are very familiar with, obviously interstate rivals on Sunday. Uh, what are your thoughts looking ahead to the Knights? You know, all four teams that were in the tournament were quality, and, you know, we just we have to regroup. We have to get our guys back physically in shape. I don't really worry so much about the opposition, but more so about our guys. And we've just had guys stepping up. Derek Luke's been stepping up and doing big-time things for us. We have to get our guys back on track and ready. It's a very difficult overtime penalty kick emotional game, uh, whereas FDU will be a little bit better rested. So we just have to get our guys back on track. Coach, congratulations. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you very much.